Hello everybody, welcome to part 11 of the Speed Passion LM1 build series. 11, part 11, we will be touching the uh, shock damper, um, the battery tray, body mounts, front bumper, and so yeah, that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> Wasn't too sure how much I had to do. <laughs> that's what we'll be doing in this part. Um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and done one part and that is put the uh, battery tray in now this is something that will you'll need to uh, be wary of as the body posts here are plastic and to change batteries um, unless you're using uh, shorty packs Although I'm not sure how it would work because I've never had a shorty back. Anyway, uh, you will, we will be taking undoing these screws a lot. Um, so, like if, like for instance, I change my battery pack every uh, right run that I do at the track. So um, you'll need to be wary of this. So I've gone ahead and done it. And put the six screws in. When you do it as well, be uh, wary too to do them evenly. As you can see the shape here, as they have the certain shapes, what that does is it helps with the chassis flex. So make sure you do it, tighten them up evenly. Alright, also I should add, um, if you look front here, look the front here, that is another friction damper. So same as the one that's uh, here. Uh, so that's another one there. Um, it does it just snaps on to those little pillow balls that are on the upper suspension arm okay so what we will do now is we will attach well actually what I will do need is I'll need another little o-ring I hate it when the o-ring gets stuck in the plastic very sticky Okay, so uh, we'll put it as a, quite simply, just snaps on like so. Ah. Now I have gone ahead and put that pillow ball in. I should add, and the antenna tube holder. So I mean, I've gone ahead and done this because. I mean it's something relatively easy to do uh, there's not a lot involved and it, again as usual it saves on time in filming so that's the shock mounted on now what we need is uh, one of the small uh, flat headed screws and the lowering just put that on there two millimeter driver where is it right there and that goes on top of the mount there so that's how it works people we have the shock and as you can see so you got side to side like so don't worry about the noise that's normal and like that so easy peasy and sorry for you here and bumping noise. I actually have a little microphone right here, so I apologise if any bumping comes through. All right. So now what we will do is we will attach the uh, front bumper to the chassis, and for that we will need some line nuts. Okay. And again with our two millimeter driver. Um, Actually, I will also need some more of those flat-headed screws. Okay. So I'll just put it on its side. Now, you'll need to be careful doing this part here 
what I will do is I'll get the other screw I'll put it on actually that's not the screw that I wanted sorry about that folks it's shorter than the one that I wanted there you are that's the one I wanted alright we'll try that again <laughs> Okay, put the nut on. So if I get it out of focus or out of out of shot there. Okay. So now we we'll just use a T wrench. Okay, make sure it is nice and tight because you don't want the uh, bumper to flex. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll put on the body post. Same sort of, same procedure again. Pretty straightforward. Okay. It gets a little awkward when you have to do this. Sometimes you might need, if you don't have a strong enough grip, you can use pair of pliers or multi grips just to hold the body post in place while you screw it in. <laughs> Alright, rear body post. Now uh, pay attention to uh, where you put it in. You'll notice on the chassis you have some extra holes. Uh, one hole is for the suspension link and the other that hole there is for the body post. So same procedure again. It's relatively straightforward. Last one. Alright, just uh, what I will do is I'll just get my pliers and I'll just adjust this so it's they're with each other. Okay. So, as you can see, it's starting to come along. Um, back um, so yeah so that'll be the end of part 11 uh, part 12 we'll start with installing the electronics and um, there's not much left to do 
yeah that's it so stay tuned for part 12 where we install the electronics